Hi everybody, it's almost Mother's Day. So I have a really good book to share with you. It's called Tucking Mommy In. Do you see the bear up in the tree? He came home with me. He's gonna sit up in the tree and listen to our story. Tucking Mommy In. As soon as I've tucked you in, Mommy said, I'm going to bed myself. I'm so tired, I can't think straight. Let me tell the bedtime story, said Sue, and then you won't have to think at all. That sounds great, said Mommy, but Jenny wasn't sure. I hope you can tell a good story, she said. Mommy kissed them both and tucked them in. She lay down on Jenny's bed. She made up a story about their cat, Mitzi. The story was funny and Jenny asked many questions, but Mommy didn't say anything. Mommy's asleep, said Jenny. What do we do now, asked Sue. Jenny asked, shook Mommy gently, but Mommy kept on sleeping. Sue came over to Jenny's bed. Wake up, Mommy. Oh, said Mommy, but she did not wake up. We'll have to do something else, said Sue. They shook Mommy quite hard. You can't go to sleep with all your clothes on, said Sue. Mommy opened her eyes and struggled to sit up. I'm sorry, kids, I didn't mean to go to sleep. You better go to bed right now, said Sue. We'll tuck ourselves in tonight. Thank you, darling, said Mommy. Sue and Jenny led her to her bedroom. They helped her undress and put on her pajamas. They tucked her into bed and gave her a kiss. Mommy smiled. Tell the story about Mitzi again, Sue, said Jenny. By the time Sue was finished, Mommy was fast asleep. When Daddy came home from work, Sue and Jenny ran to meet him. They told him all about tucking Mommy in. Mommy must have been tired, he said. Would you like me to tell you a story now, said Daddy? No thanks, said Jenny. Sue told a good story twice, and I'm sleepy. Sue yawned, me too, she said. Daddy tucked them in. Thanks for taking good care of Mommy, Daddy said. He put out the light. See you in the morning. Now, it's Mother's Day tomorrow, so if your mom or both of your moms are in the room, maybe you could ask them to go out of the room for a minute. We should talk about Mother's Day. And I know one thing mothers love, they love to get notes from their children. And you could write your mom a note, have a grown up write a note for you. Or if you just write three words, I love you. I-L-O-V-E-U, Y-O-U. And if you draw a picture of yourself with your mom, she would love that. If you have two moms, make two pictures for both of your moms. So I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day tomorrow. And you might wanna think about doing some, giving some special hugs for your moms and making sure they feel loved and caring. I know you're spending a lot of time with them now and they enjoy that, but they like to be appreciated too. So I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. I have two sons and two grandsons and I'll be talking to them on Mother's Day. It's the best part of my day. Bye, I love you all.